Now, live, this is 8 News Now at 6. We did the uh, uh, missing child, and we did the canvas, and we did the interview of people at the swap meet, and we did interview neighbors, et cetera, et cetera, for over the first initial days. I knew in my heart of hearts the child was not there. A former North Las Vegas detective recounts a cold case that has weighed heavy on his mind for decades. But after 33 years, there's finally a break. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Christiane Klein. And I'm Denise Valdez. Police in Florida arrested 60 year old Amy Fleming, formerly known as Amy Luster, for the death of her three year old son, Francione Yo Yo Pierre. Now we have live team coverage tonight. Darlene was in the press conference asking questions this afternoon. But let's start with Orko Mana, who's live in studio. Or well, Christiane, the big news from today is that there is finally some evidence that connects Amy Fleming to the disappearance of her son, Francione Pierre. In 2017, North Las Vegas police got new information about the case. They say multiple jail letters between Amy Fleming and Lee Luster led them to an arrest to arrest Amy on an open murder charge. That arrest was in January, but this sad story begins more than three decades ago. It's like you have all eyes upon you. All of Southern Nevada was fixated on Amy Fleming and Lee Luster, the mother and stepfather of a little boy gone without a trace. Francine Pierre was reported missing in August 1986 after Amy and Lee told police they lost track of him at the Broadacre Swap Meet in North Las Vegas. But from the beginning, police and the public were skeptical. That's because of child abuse charges against the couple from the year before, including dozens of welts on Francione's back. With each passing day, they become more frustrated. Because the possibility of finding a major clue is dwindling. Investigators worked tirelessly to solve the case but kept hitting dead ends. Amy accused Francione's biological father, Jean Pierre, of taking the boy back to Haiti with him. Police cleared Jean Pierre through lie detector results, but Amy and Lee took polygraph tests as well and failed. Also bizarre, one month after Francione went missing, the couple tried to sell some of the boy's toys at a garage sale. The pair moved to Florida because they said they felt attacked. Despite the red flags, no charges were filed against them in the 80s because nothing specifically tied them to Francione's disappearance. This 32-year-old closed case. Closed that is, until now. North Las Vegas police found jail letters between Amy and Lee. In one, she writes, quote, what happened was totally unintentional, end quote. Amy was arrested in January in Dinah Beach near Fort Lauderdale on an open murder charge, even though investigators say Francione's body has not been found. We'd love to have the, the body of Francione or DNA evidence that, that proves something. That's not what this case is. This is a case of a lot of little things that put together gives us the, the knowledge that Amy Fleming was involved in the homicide of her child. North Las Vegas police say Amy Fleming is currently in the process of being extradited back to Nevada, although there is still no information about how Francilione uh, presumably died. Authorities say some justice was served today. Back to you. All right, Urkel, thanks for that. A lot of evidence pieced together leading to Amy Fleming's arrest, but the pieces really started coming together back in 2017. 8 News Now reporter Darlene Melendez was at a press conference in North Las Vegas today, and she joins us now live with more on what really snowballed this case. Darlene? Well, Denise, today we received this affidavit breaking down how exactly Amy Fleming was tied to her three year old son, Francione Pierre's disappearance and murder. It all started in 2017 with a, a fraudulent birth certificate application. Detectives say that's when they really started to crack this case open once again. Even more witnesses started to come forward after that. And today we heard from some of those current and uh, former detectives that have worked on this case after Pierre's disappearance in 1986. Six. Investigators say there still wasn't enough evidence to charge neither Amy Fleming nor Lee Luster for Pierre's disappearance or death, despite both of them being eventually arrested for obstructing justice by lying, and they eventually did plead guilty for that in child abuse charges. Detectives say they aren't clear on how Francione Pierre was killed, but with the former case of child abuse, investigators believe that could have been a cause. At, at the time of the investigation, um, detectives definitely believed that Amy was involved and that this was a homicide. Okay? We definitely believe that child abuse could have played a factor in this homicide. At the time, we're talking a few months after this disappearance. It's a lot, uh, a lot different than 32 years later to say that Francione Pierre is deceased. 
So where is Lee Luster now? He's at their home in Florida, not charged with Pierre's murder, but our sister station found this note on their door signed by Lee, adamantly stating that Amy didn't murder their son, Yo, Pierre's nickname. The note also states that at the time, there were many witnesses that saw the child with Amy. In this affidavit, however, the North Las Vegas Police Department breaks down multiple witnesses, uh, their accounts that they spoke with, stating that they never saw a child with Amy that day. Ultimately, detective, detectives ruled that Pierre was never with Amy at that swamp meeting in 1986. Coming up at 11, we'll break this down even more, uh, sharing more of those details with you guys and more of those witnesses' accounts. Reporting live from North Las Vegas, Starling Melendez, 8 News Now.